What's going on guys? My name is Nathan Mossick, president of the Texas Tech Ducks Unlimited Chapter. Today we're out here with uh, Jonathan Underwood and Caprock Waterfowl. They're generous enough to let us come out this morning. Birds are looking good. We got a good little hole here. After that, we're going to Fowler Hide Supply. We're going to hang out at the shop and then I think we're going to hit some evening ducks. So we'll see how it goes. Look at all the ducks coming out of the field. She's four out front, guys. Oh. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Glory! Here! We get one out of that? Huh? Yeah, I've here, got one single, right over here. Hey, come on. Will you hold my gun? Here. Got some big mature uh, green wing. We go Drake. Good boy. Good boy. Ready, bird. Stay. Uh-uh. Glory, no! Bye! Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Come on, Chrissy. Yep. Man, y'all some hen killers today, <laughs> boys. <laughs> we got some Susie shooters. I'm Jonathan Underwood with Cap Rock Waterfowl. I'm the owner. My wife and I own a guide service here in the Panhandle of Texas. We're set up on a sheet water pond. Um, it is a, this was a hay grazer field. Uh, we were had zeroed out cotton so we came back in they planted hay grazer in we got some rains uh, late september or early september flooded this up so luckily the hay grazer headed out so we've got a lot of feed and stuff here in the field actually earlier this morning we had some ducks feeding off in the field itself before yesterday i was doing some scouting uh, this looked like to be the best spot we've got a lot of pintails mallards uh, widgeon teal lots of teal lots of green wing teal that's primarily what we've already killed this morning that's a real clear morning, so we had a lot of birds at first light. Uh, we've killed, I think we've got three in the blind right now. Birds will trickle in and out of this all day long, kind of feeding, loafing. It's gonna be, it's actually gonna warm up today about 66. 
but we should get a really good really good bounce uh, hopefully we'll uh, get a few more birds here We're, we'll probably hunt most of the morning these birds should start trickling back here anytime we've already had a couple birds trickle back since first light so the birds really want to be in here there's a lot of feed uh, it's a good spot it's kind of secluded so it's a good spot so loud looking for feed though they're not even they're not even giving it us they won't even give water a second look right now huh they would come into a loaf yeah but this isn't a loaf spot they they don't loaf here I've never seen cranes or geese loaf on this sheet water I don't know why you think I mean it's prime right mm-hmm you would think they would be because I mean walking out there you see how shallow it is but what is those four right there? Ooh, speckle bellies. Oh, there's some more. Is there, is there more coming? Yeah. yeah there's, a, there's a decent group of cranes right out here. I see that. Got a good sprig on it too, guys. Good thing we didn't kill the Susie. Good. Lori. That's a tank. Hey, he finished, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a tall. That's a stud. Pretty bird. That is a good one. Thanks, sir. Absolutely. Anybody so, got a pintail mounted? They don't. That's a good one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Takes it too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. That is a good one. Yeah, we'll let the Susie get out. Good. <laughs> yeah, they they <laughs> came teal, out of nowhere. Some hand teal killer. Hell yeah. You want to hold it up again? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's a good one. Look at that. That's a tank. Good shooting. Hey, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hang them by the feet. I was going to start. You want to do that? I want one to mount. Hang it by the feet. Pretty good hunt this morning and a lot of birds at, at first light. Um, after that, they kind of trickled off, went to the feeds, didn't come back here, so we ended with, what do we have? Five, and we got a really good looking pintail here. I think we're gonna get this one mounted. Good stud. Um, we're gonna head back to the Fowler Hyde shop. We're gonna kind of film some, some work and stuff over there, and uh, I think we're gonna go on an evening hunt, so we'll see how that goes. You're good. What's going on guys? Right now we're here at the Fowler Hyde Supply Shop. This is where I work, come every day, hang out, but mostly work. Um, right here we have Drew and Cameron. They What's are going on everybody? Welcome to Fowler Hyde Supply, uh, based out of Lubbock, Texas. So right now we're on a busy uh, Christmas packaging, cranking out lanyards, getting them out for Christmas. Um, like Nathan's probably gonna tell you, our main products are call lanyards, um, we do duck totes, everything's custom from leather to stitch to drop color. Um, uh, yeah, we've been in this shop for about a year and a half and it's slowly growing. So if you're ever in Lubbock, Texas, come back and hang out, um, grab a beer and let's talk some hunting stories. Um, we have half ropes. This is what you can put your name on right here. They're good for like if you wear your lanyard right over your neck. So like teal season, when it's real hot, you don't wear hoodies or anything like that. That's what uh, halves are really good for. And uh, our shorties, uh, these are mainly for kids. Um, so if you have a kid, 
um, who doesn't want a real long lanyard, we recommend the shorty. Or if you're a person who doesn't like a real long lanyard, but their calls hanging everywhere and you like a real minimalist style, um, it only holds three calls, our shorty would be the way to go. Or we got our full rope. Um, this is going to be your regular size lanyard that you get at Cabela's uh, or Academy, um, but it's going to have six drops on it. Um, with your quick release being one of the drops. So you got four doubles and a single. Uh, singles could be f used for whistles or maybe duck calls that don't break apart. Um, our full ropes are our main seller. Uh, like Nathan said, our half ropes can be customized so people do like the customization on the neck. It fits better on the neck. It feels better if you wear lanyards directly on the neck. Um, so yeah, those lanyards um, have four different color options in leather, 10 uh, stitch color options, and then the drop's got four color options as well. So um, there is a lot of versatility when it comes to customization uh, to make it unique to you and kind of the colors that you like uh, to wear when you're hunting. All right, guys, so we are gonna stamp a half rope right now. Um, this half rope is actually gonna say Campus Waterfowl on it because we are doing a collaboration with Campus Waterfowl for a giveaway. So I'm gonna stamp Campus Waterfowl on this uh, neck piece of the half rope. Um, New Year's, January 1st, you guys stay tuned. That's when you will be able to win um, or actually uh, enter the giveaway to win this half rope. It's gonna be on our page and Campus Waterfowl's page. So let's get it stamped. There it is. You guys stay tuned. January 1st, you're gonna have the chance to win this English Tan Campus Waterfowl half rope with black call drops. There we go. So yeah, like Cameron's saying, our lanyards are our main product. All that gets stitched right here. This one's already for the most part done, but if we started with a brand new one, this video would be like an hour long. So probably don't want that, but I'm just gonna run through this real quick. So for our call lanyards, we use a baseball stitch to go down the full length of the lanyard. Um, because of that, there is no machine that can do it. Just at the angle the needle has to go in, um, and the, the leather's not always consistent, so the machine's not going to work real well. Um, like I said, it takes about an hour for each one, but, you know, it's worth it. These things last a lifetime. It's not ever going to break or rip. Um, so it, it's really for the good of the product that it takes us this long. They're done. We got two of them. All we got to do now is dress them out. Like Cameron was saying earlier, each uh, lanyard gets uh, one single, and we'll do four doubles. And after this, that's, that's my part of the business. That's all I do. Uh, Drew will get them shipped out, um, and then you're on, they're on your door usually within you know four or five days after that. Um, I know we're excited for this evening. It's on a big spread. Got a chance at some geese. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the field. This is the finished product. Uh, here we got gray with black stitch with black drops. Here we got our limited edition Cato green with cocoa stitch and black drops. All right, so uh, this is our ship station, kind of the end of the line um, for all our lanyards and products. So we get them on the shelf, we get them all dressed up, we get our handwritten note done, um, get them ready to go. Um, so we'll box them up, um, throw them on the shelves, take the post office. Uh, but we try and do our best um, to pin um, where all the lanyards or different products have been shipped. Uh, Truth be told, we've been slammed this Christmas, so I'm a little bit behind on pins, but we'll get caught up. But uh, it's kind of cool to see, looking at the map now, um, where all of our products have ended up. Um, we do, we don't have it here, but we have a, a couple up in uh, Canada and Alaska, and I think we have one in Hawaii. So um, it's been pretty cool to see uh, where the business has grown to. But if you guys are ever interested in getting anything, um, you can go to FowlerHiveSupply.com um, and you can order straight through the website. If you have any questions, reach out to us uh, through email or Instagram, um, and we'll get back to y'all and help you out as best we can. Are these two hitting ground front? Uh, front these two. Kill them. What do you say? I do not know what is up with me on a shooting hens all day today. Just could not find a drake. Yeah. How about that to end the evening? What the pope? Well, at about 
I'm going to say a solid 50, 55 yards right in the breast kill shot. Uh, end of the first day out here in Lubbock. It's been tough. Um, birds really aren't working like we wanted them to, but that's duck hunting. Can't really do anything about it. Um, in the next video, we'll be out hunting some specks and some canadas and possibly some snows. Uh, so y'all stay tuned for that. But if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.